five minute quick um, quick vlog. As you can see on the back of my camera on the D810, my finger is there, there's a slither, tiniest slither of a crescent moon and it's about 20 minutes um, before, before sunset. So what I've got at the moment, I've got it on live view and I'm zooming in. I just wanted to show people how you quickly, you can't even see it, it's so tiny. So there's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a twinkle in your eye where the red cross is. What you do is, you zoom in as far as you can on live view and you can just about see it there, look. And then all you do is you wait for a second until it goes, until it gets, the shake stops. And if you can possibly just move this focus ring a tiny bit, I think that's about right there. I'm not too sure if you can see, but as you can see there now, and uh, that's about focus, but just look on the back of the camera. Look on the back of it, just look how fast it's moving. Can you see that? Look at the moon, going past very quick. And what you've got to do is, I'm at the moment, I'll get my settings. At the moment, ISO 64. Um, I'm at F4, just to fasten the shutter speed up. And I'm at 1 640th of a second. And that was not, that was a shot without the, uh, I'll do it again. So I'll put the self timer on. There we go, I'll zoom in again. Two seconds or three seconds self timer. And I'll take the shot. And that really is kind of simple. You can't even see it. It's just on the top of this branch here. So if press play, zoom in. Look, there it is. You can see it, it's so tiny. It's I'm getting a bit of noise there because the back of the screen on the D810, the, um, the, the preview is a JPEG so it's not really good but, or it's my um, focusing isn't the best so what I'll do is I'll try again. They can do, see I'm doing what I'm just, I'm just, just slightly just in adjusting the, uh, the focus there. Um, I'll take another shot. You really want as a faster shutter speed as you possibly can because with the moon it's moving so fast that any sl any slow shutter speeds and basically look look there it is and this little dark patch here is that little twig and ideally you want as we're recording we want a little plane to go past and just capture it. Um, one more shot. So what I'll do is I'll just underexpose it so you can see a bit better there. Is that better on the back of the camera? There it is there. Uh... Yeah so as I was saying a moment ago basically if you watch this is the uh, I'm at 200mm um, there's a focus I'm focused on affinity and basically all you're doing is you're just gently moving this focus ring backwards and forwards um, I'm just trying to get the really, really sweet spot. I don't know if you can see that there. You can't see it. That was a rare Eurofighter taking off. Uh, just deafened me and the kids probably. And as you can see on the back of the camera, out of the picture, the moon's completely gone, so it's uh, it's moved so much already, even, even in such a space, short space of time. So, um, and also as well, also as well, my manual focus, noise vibration is off, that's off as well at the bottom, um, and that's what you need really. Yeah, so on this shot, start again, so we all know, so this is what you do, so I'm at ISO 64, in fact what I'll do, I'll go to ISO 100. Zoom in again on the back of the live view. There we go, that's it. I'm at 2.8, I think one thousandth of a second. Just go down a little touch. And as you can see on the back of the camera, I don't know if you can see there or not, that's a moon. And as you can see, it's moving really fast again. Ten, three, I think a three second timer, we'll see. There we go. 
There's a plane there. Look at these birds here. Let's try and get some pictures of the birds going past the moon. Let's see if we can do that. Are they going to go? One, two, three. Missed it. <laughs> Missed it. Look. There's the moon. There's a flock of birds. It's all about timings and uh, I've got none. So thank you for watching this little vlog. I shall um, post the moon pictures at the end. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Any more little astro tips, just give me a comment below. And um, yeah, bye for now.